so I just finished getting ready. I actually just finished my coffee, and I wanted to share with you guys a supplement that I've been using post-workout. So on the days that I do strength training, which is three days a week, I was finding that I was getting really, really sore. So I had quite a few people recommend this for workout days when you're doing a lot of strength training. And this is from the brand 6AM Run, and I did get the watermelon. This is called Finish Line. So basically, this is a BCAA supplement post-workout. There's no calories or anything in this, so it's zero points, and it tastes really good. And I do find that when I take this, after I lift weights, after I do strength training, it definitely helps with recovery, and I'm not as sore. So I just add one scoop to a shaker bottle, fill it up with some water. I would say like eight to 10 ounces of water is enough. That way you still get the flavor and it tastes really, really good. Again, I have the watermelon one. Shake it up, it tastes really, really good. I just bought mine off the 6 a.m. website. I'll see if they sell it on Amazon or anything, but wherever I can find it, I will link it down below for you. I just purchased some new clothing, including this super cute dress that I'm wearing. Everything I purchased is from the brand Bubble Dawn. They have the cutest clothes, shoes, accessories. Everything is extremely affordable and the quality, the quality is so good. I ended up ordering a dress, two tops, a vest, and a pair of shoes. Everything fits perfectly and like I said, the quality cannot be beat. So I wanted to share the pieces that I picked up for you guys because I'm always on the hunt for affordable clothing. As you know, as I continue along on my weight loss journey, I don't feel the need to spend a lot of money on clothes, especially if my size is changing pretty frequently. So whenever I can find good quality, affordable clothing, I am here for it. So let me first start by sharing with you the dress that I'm wearing. This is the X-Line Cotton Capri High Waist Shirt Dress. It actually comes in this darker blue color that I have here. Here, and then it also comes in a lighter blue. They have sizes small through extra large, and I would say that it fits true to size. I ended up purchasing an extra large. I was a little bit nervous about getting a large. I, I definitely could have purchased a large and it would have fit, but I liked a little bit of extra room in the extra large. The brand name of all of the pieces that I picked up, including the shoes, is the brand Allegra K. I've heard really good things about this brand, and now that I've picked some up from the Bubble Dawn website, I know how good the quality is. So this dress is perfect for summer. It is very, very lightweight. It is a great length. I am 5'8". It falls to a perfectly comfortable length for me. It feels really nice on. It's basically like a classic shirt dress. I like how it cuts up a little bit on the side, and you could pair this with sandals, booties. You could also put a cute little jacket over this if the weather was a little bit cooler, or in my case, I I decided to pair these with the mules that I picked up from Bubble Dawn as well. These shoes are so cute. They come in white, this kind of tan color and black, and I decided to go with the more tan color. I wanted to add a nude shoe to my collection and one that wasn't a flip-flop or a sandal. So these are the women's pointed toe chunky heel mules. These are only $36. Of course, they come in all sizes, they have a buckle strap decor, a pointed toe, a chunky heel, and they are absolutely adorable and very comfortable. That little bit of stretchy band that's included in the shoe helps get them on, but also secure them to your feet so you don't feel like your foot is constantly slipping in and out of the shoe. That's my biggest worry with mules is that there's not a support to keep my foot in the shoe, but that little stretchy band on these particular mules really helps get my foot in and keep it into place. And because I'm taller I don't do really heeled shoes so this little chunky heel is absolutely perfect and $36 these feel like much more high-end expensive shoes than that and they are incredibly comfortable this next blouse that I picked up is my all-time favorite actually when it came in and I showed it to Troy he was like "Ooh, that's really cute I like this because it's long sleeved but it's an airy shirt I live in Arizona so it is pretty warm most of the time here so I don't really invest in a lot of long sleeve shirts or sweatshirts so I thought this was the perfect pairing of a lighter weight blouse with a longer sleeve. This is the Mesh H-Line Pin Dot Round Neck Ruffle Cuff Blouse. It's only $21. It only comes in black and we have sizes extra small all the way up to size extra large. So I did end up getting a size extra large and I'm actually glad that I did in this particular top only because it fits me 
perfectly. It's still a little bit loose, but it doesn't hug the areas that we don't want hugged. I do love the little cute ruffle detail on the sleeve, see-through sleeve with this cute little cuffed bottom. It does button in the back to hold it securely on your neck. And again, I found that the length of this is absolutely perfect. You could wear this with jeans, a skirt, you could dress it up, dress it down, and I just love it. I just think that all the details, the ruffles, the collar, everything about this shirt is so cute and you can't beat the price. The next item I was so excited about, immediately when I saw on the website, I hit add to cart because I've been looking for one for a very long time. I actually have a couple of really cute denim jackets that are now too big for me, but I've always wanted a super cute denim vest. One of my favorite things to do with these is to wear it over maxi dresses or sundresses. I like to wear a tighter fitting shirt underneath and then pop a vest over it. And this one is so adorable and so thick and high quality. This is the women's washed denim button vest with flap pockets. It comes in so many colors, everything from denim colors to bright pink, white, light pink, light blue, sizes extra small all the way up to extra large. I love all the button detail. I love this little whitewashed panel here. I think it really draws your shape in. And there is also that whitewashed panel kind of across the back. And like I said, I just feel like that really just draws everything in and makes you look a little bit more lean and long and small. And I love this. I absolutely love this. I did go ahead and pair it with that black long sleeve shirt, but I can't wait to put this over my favorite Max dress or sundress. And lastly, this shirt. I mean, how cute is this? This is the polyester H-line tie neck sleeveless shirt for only $20. It comes in about 20 different colors. And again, the sizes range from extra small all the way up to extra large. I did pick this up in an extra large and I definitely could have sized down to a large. This still fits me. There's just a little bit extra room down here across the midsection, which is fine. It still hangs really nicely, looks really nice, but I could have sized down to a large. I love this. I love that it's sleeveless for the warmer weather. I love this cute little tie that you can tie into a bow that just really adds a nice accent. All the ruffle detailing on this shirt is so absolutely adorable. It's very flattering on. It definitely covers up the areas we want to be covered, but adds a nice shape and long line to your body. I think it's adorable. This and the denim vest, I definitely want to pick up in more colors because again, the quality, the quality is so good and the fit is absolute perfection. I am definitely going back on their website and ordering some more pieces because I can't believe how affordable they are for how good of quality they are. I know I keep saying how good the quality is, but although I want affordable clothing, I want quality clothing that's going to last. I'll link all of the pieces that I picked up and their general website if you want to go check them out. I did reach out and they offered a discount code for you guys and that is Gen18 for 18 percent off your order, which is incredible because the prices are already extremely affordable. So I'll link all the information, including the discount code down below for you. I'm hungry. It's time to make some breakfast. So what I'm going to do is cook up one of the Sam's Choice chicken apple sausages. I really like these. They taste really good. The ingredients in these are perfection. They're actually Whole30 approved. That's how clean the ingredients are. And they're just a great way to get in lots of protein at breakfast. And you know, I'm all about the protein. So I'm going to fry up one of the sausages. And then I think I'm going to do one whole egg and two egg whites and scramble that up with the sausage and kind of make a sausage egg scramble. And then I have some raspberries and blueberries that I need to eat up. I would say that there's probably about three quarters of a cup left, so I'm going to have some berries as well. So I have my sausage, my one egg, my two egg whites. I'm going to add some of the Trader Joe's onion salt. That's my all-time favorite thing ever in eggs. And then some pepper. And then what I like to do is just kind of scramble my eggs up while I brown the sausage. This chicken apple sausage from Sam's Choice is actually pre-cooked. You don't even really have to cook it. I just like to brown it a little bit and mix it in really well with the eggs. 
So here's breakfast. This actually looks really good. So I have the chicken apple sausage, one egg, two egg whites, and then some berries. This is volume eating. This is very low calorie, high protein, real whole food, and you get a lot of it for the points and calories. And I am a big fan of volume eating. Eat as much as you can to still lose weight. I'm about to head out the door to go to my hair appointment. I'll fill you all in on the hair situation when we get in the car. But I wanted to share with you some new home products. You guys know we just moved to Arizona a few months months ago and we've been doing a lot to our house. I actually did a whole home tour video. I'll link that down below for you, but we're still finalizing a lot of the decor and just little add-ons in our house. And so I went onto the Emperor's Home website and was pleasantly surprised with a with the great selection of products that they had. So I picked up three separate home products, one for our spare bedroom, one for our entryway, and then a couple for our guest bathroom. So I wanted to share them with you. You guys really like to see products that I find that I really like and that I think are great quality and affordable prices. That's no exception with the Emperor's Home website. I could have bought a lot more, but I went ahead and just focused on the products that we really needed to kind of finish, to do some of the final touches on our house. So the first thing that I picked up was a pillow for my spare bedroom. I let you know in the home tour that we really went with this whole Arizona orange vibe in that room. So this is the Velvet Pleated Futon Round Floor Cushion Pillow. It is $25.99, it's 15 inches by four inches. And as you can see, I went ahead and picked up the orange color. This is really, really nice. It's really nice quality and it's so soft. I have a white bedspread in my spare bedroom and I really wanted to add just a little, just one more pop of orange to it. I grabbed this really nice Nautica blanket at TJ Maxx and then I thought that this pillow just fit really nicely in the room. It adds a little bit of flair to the bed as well. There's not a lot of texture going on in on the bed. So I thought that by adding this really nice, super soft velvet type pillow would really make it look a little bit more finished and balanced. And it actually ended up being exactly what we were looking for. Even Troy really liked it. He really likes this particular kind of burnt orange color and it pairs perfectly with the super soft blanket that I picked up. And then I've been searching high and low for a pillow to put on the wood bench that we have in our entryway, and I have not been able to find anything. The pillows that I'm finding are really expensive, $20, $30 for a pillow. So I went ahead and ordered a pillow cover and I had stuffed the white pillows that you saw on the bed in our spare room. Those were actually pillow covers that I had purchased and stuffed myself and I had some polyfill left over so I thought why don't I go ahead and make my own pillow for way less expensive than anything that I could find. Not to mention I just wasn't able to find anything that I really loved. I knew I wanted it to be rectangle in shape kind of on the smaller side, just so that it didn't take up the whole bench and something that I could leave up throughout the year. I do have seasonal pillows and things to add to the bench, but I wanted something that was versatile and could be on the bench all year long. So I picked up the Plush Cozy Decorative Throw Pillow Cover. It was only $10.99. It comes in lots and lots of colors. It is a 12 inch by 20 inch throw pillow cover. And like I said, I just stuffed it with some polyfill and it turned out really cute. I think it's that last little finishing touch for the entryway, a little pop of color that goes really nicely with my reclaimed wood bench. And I just think that it turned out perfect. And for $11 versus $25 or $30, that was a huge win. And then lastly, I wanted some really nice towels for my guest bed, bathroom. Towels that can stay out all the time, that looked really nice in there. My guest bathroom has a lot of tan and green and dark brown, so I wanted to lighten it up a little bit with some tan colored towels. And these towels, these towels are incredible. They are so soft. They absorb water like crazy, which I really appreciate. I hate when you go to dry your hands off after you wash them or get out of the shower and the towel that you have just doesn't absorb all the water. These are super absorbent. They're elegant. They're beautiful. They look exceptional in the bathroom. These are the premium Egyptian cotton embroidered antibacterial towels. You actually get both pieces for $27.99. A bath towel 
and a hand towel. That's an incredible deal. They even have some embroidery on them, which I think is really pretty and just a really elegant touch. It's made from Egyptian long staple cotton. It's organic, green environmental protection, hand-picked, natural with no pollution, and it's great for sensitive skin. And the fact that it's antibacterial, I really appreciate, especially for a hand towel, because those can get really gross really quick. The detail, the workmanship, the quality is absolutely exceptional. There's a nice thick band at the bottom and the embroidery just adds a really lush elegant touch I think it was the perfect decision for the bathroom and again the price is really good for how high quality and luxe these towels are I think I'm going to pick up some more for my master bathroom I just love them and I think they go perfectly in the room brighten it up a little bit and again just kind of finished out that guest bathroom so I'll link everything I bought down below the Emperor's Home website any discounts will be linked down below as well but they have just a they have a wide variety of home products for really affordable prices for as exceptional quality as they are. I feel really good about these three purchases. They really just finished off the rooms in our new house. I have a pickup order for Jennifer Clayton. All right, go ahead and Thank you. So I just got my coffee, my second coffee of the day. Listen, I deserve it after my workout. I just like to have coffee when I go to get my hair done. Who else is with me? Who else has to have coffee when they go get a pedicure, get their hair done? I definitely do. I do have a new coffee concoction that I've been doing at Dunkin', and I thought I would share it with you guys in case you were looking for some Dunkin' coffee inspiration. But what I've been doing is getting an iced Americano with cream. I do two creams instead of three that the app defaults to or the three that they default to. And then I do half sugar-free vanilla and half sugar-free blueberry. I know that sounds weird, but it's actually really, really good. And then I have them add two stevia in the raw and an extra shot of espresso. And it's so good. It's so coffee-y. And then there's just a little bit of flavor kind of on the back of your tongue. It's so good. It's one of my new favorite drinks from Dunkin'. It's one of the ones that I've really been gravitating towards. I also brought my water in my favorite Lululemon water bottle. I'll link this again for you guys. So many of you have reached out and asked for the link. This is by far the best water bottle I've ever had. Ask my husband. I've been using this nonstop and raving about it since I got it when I was in San Diego. It literally makes your water taste good and keeps it cold all day. The ice will be in my water bottle the next day if I don't finish it. So I brought this with me. Once I'm done with my coffee, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate with water. And then I don't know how long I'll be gone. So I grabbed some pistachios to bring for a snack. They won't melt in the hot Arizona heat. It's 86 degrees right now. I think it's gonna be just under 100. So I'll just have these on hand if I'm hungry between my hair appointment and when I make it home for some lunch. I'm super full right now though from my breakfast. That was so good the chicken apple sausage and the eggs and the fruit. Absolutely delicious. So I don't know that I'll need them, but I always like to be prepared and have a healthy snack on hand. So I'm on my way to get my hair done for the first time since moving to Arizona. I'm going to a place in Green Valley, Arizona, which is about seven minutes from where I live in Sawaita. This is a referral from my realtor. So she raves about this hair lady. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping she does a good job. I loved my hair stylist in Washington. I had been going to her since like 1997, six, very, a very, very long time. So it was really hard to leave my hairstylist, my eyebrow wax person, my pedicure person, you know, all the people that you really grow to love and that you give your business to all the time. So I'm really hoping that my hair, that this hairstylist does a good job. Also, also, these ends of my hair are horrible. My hair is all scraggly. And now that I've lost so much weight, I feel like I need something maybe a little bit different. So I've been thinking about hemming and hawing about a long bob. Part of me isn't ready to cut my hair, but then part of me is, if that makes sense. And I know that the ends of my hair definitely need some love. They are really, really unhealthy. My roots are super grown out, so I definitely need a color. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen today. I don't know if I will end up cutting my hair or if I'll just do a pretty hefty trim to get rid of the dead ends. I don't know. We shall see. So let's go. Let's cross our fingers that this hair appointment goes well. Three hours later. New hair? Who dis? Look at that. We are shorter. We are healthier. We are blonder. It looks really good. She did an amazing job. I was there like three and a half hours though. My hair definitely needed cut. It was so scraggly at the ends and I like the little bit shorter length. So I'm really, really happy with it, but I'm starving. So we're going to go home and have some lunch. So 
for lunch today, I'm keeping it pretty simple. I'm having two and a half ounces of this pepper turkey breast. This is from Sam's Club. I actually really, really like this turkey breast. It's so good. So I'm going to just lay out two and a half ounces because I'm going to spread some mustard and cheese on it. It's two and a half ounces exactly. And then I'm going to spread one wedge of the Laughing Cow light cheese right on top. And then I bought this really good mustard when I went out with my mother-in-law to this little town called Tubac in Arizona. This is a Maine maple champagne mustard. There's 10 calories per serving, no points. So I'm going to add just a little bit of that as well. And then I like to mix those together and spread the cheese and the mustard out over my turkey. And then all I do is just roll it up. And it is so good, such a good protein packed lunch. One serving of my very favorite crackers. These are the Chetties. They actually have eight grams of protein per serving, which is insane for crackers. It's 130 calories for one ounce, which is 28.35 grams. So I'm just weighing out 28 grams on my food scale. There we go. So that's my lunch for today. I have my little turkey, cheese, mustard roll up, and then some crackers for that crunch. But I love that I get eight grams of protein as well in a cracker. While I was getting my hair done, we had quite an exciting delivery for the fur babies of the house. Their bark box for the month of June came. I actually just resubscribed to bark box last month. And it reminded me how adorable this box is and how a great, how much of a great value it is. So this month's box is Jurassic Park or Jurassic theme. Oh, Palmer's gonna love these. So let me show you what's in the bark box. I'll link it down below if you're interested in subscribing for your dogs. I just paid for six months because it was way more affordable and that would give me a really good chance to test out the box. But everything in it is super cute. It's always themed every single month and you can order some of the little plushies that you didn't get in your box. So first we have this little critter here. He's kind of a crunchy guy and he has a squeaker in the head. Oh, Palmer heard that. We better go quick. And then we have this guy. He's pretty cute. What is this one? That's a oh, the, this is a T-Rex. What is this? It looks like an ostrich, but it's some kind of little fuzzy dinosaur, super cute. And then you always get a couple different treats. So we have raptor scraps, which is a pork jerky. And then we have another raptor scraps, which is a lamb jerky. And then you always get some type of bone or bigger treat. This is pumpkin and honey. Ooh, that sounds good. A chew stick, pumpkin and honey. So I think what we'll do is we'll break up the little chew stick, give that to the dogs. And then we need to give Palmer one of the babies. So do we, and he's down by my feet. I'll see if I can show you guys. Can you see him down there patiently waiting for his baby? What do you want, buddy? We're gonna let Troy decide again which one we give Palmer. So should we give him the T-Rex or this ostrich looking things? T-Rex. T-Rex, all right, let's pull the tags off. Okay, you wanna give it to him and I'll film it? Oh, hey, what does daddy have? <gasps> this. Oh, is that your new baby? There you go. Oh, oh yeah, get it, buddy. Go, Palma, go. He loves babies, and then he usually gets the zoomies and becomes crazy when he gets a new baby. Palmer, oh, Palmer, what'd you have? Oh, yeah, you got a T-Rex? You got a T-Rex. And then I'll break up this little bone and we'll give them a little piece of bat. Diesel, can you sit? Good boy, there you go. <gasps> Did you abandon T-Rex for a treat? There you go, there you go, honey. It is snack time and I am having my normal snack or the snack I have a lot and that is one of the Sprouts brown rice cakes. Like I say, I really like these because they're 25 calories and for me they're the perfect size for about a tablespoon of nut butter and then I don't get a little excited and use more nut butter than my small rice cake can hold adding extra points and calories. And today we're trying a brand new American Dream Nut Butter Well, new to me. You, So many of you reached out and said to try the Mint Chocolate Dream Almond Butter, that it is so good. You guys know I love mint chocolate anything. I love American Dream Nut Butter. I literally have 10 different kinds and I love every single one of them. This particular one has 159 calories in two tablespoons. So it's actually less calories and points than traditional nut butter. This is my first time trying this one and I'm really, really excited because mint chocolate is one of my favorite things. So all the American Dream Nut Butters have lots of yummy mix-ins. So you can see that there's, ooh, look at that. You guys have to see that. 
Yum, there's mint, there's chocolate. So when you get your nut butter, make sure that you mix it up really well so you can get those mix-ins combined through all the nut butter. I have my scale out, so I'm going to do one tablespoon on my rice cake. We'll taste test it, see what we think, but it smells really good. So it's 14 grams of the nut butter is one tablespoon. And then we're just going to spread that out on the rice cake. And then as always, I'm having a cheese stick as well. I really like to pair my macros together. So I have a carb with the rice cake, protein, healthy fat with the nut butter, and then a big dose of protein with the cheese stick. So this is my snack for this afternoon. Let's taste test this nut butter. Oh my gosh. That is so good. That tastes like mint chocolate ice cream. That same minty chocolate vibe. Wow. Okay, American Dream Nut Butter, I see you. This one, one of my favorites. I will link American Dream Nut Butter down below with 10% off for you. Welcome to the start of monsoon season in what used to be sunny Arizona. It is dumping rain. Dumping, it smells really good. Are you excited for the rain for monsoon season? Kinda. Well, actually, I know, because it's been so hot, we're actually looking forward to the cooler temps. Second time it's rained what, since we moved here. What's the temperature right now? Does your phone say? Just out of curiosity, I'll let you guys know it was 100 degrees when I was coming home from my hair appointment just a couple of hours ago. And my in-laws say that this rain really lowers the temperature. So I'm just curious what the temperature is now. 95. 95, so it's only went down five degrees so far, but it just started raining, so welcome. Welcome to monsoon season. Do you see the carnage? Palmer, what'd you do to your new baby? Did you rip a hole in his face? You did, you ripped a hole in his face and you pulled out the squeaker and shredded the fuzz all over mommy's living room. Yep, you guys think he's so cute, but you don't live with him. For dinner tonight, we are making an instant pot recipe. Super easy, super quick. If you don't have an Instant Pot, you could certainly make this in a slow cooker or on the stove top, but we're making Instant Pot Cream of Mushroom Chicken and Wild Rice. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some low fat cream of mushroom soup, salt, chicken broth. The recipe calls for one can of mushrooms. I'm going to use two just because we like extra mushrooms. An onion, about a pound, pound and a half of chicken breast, and then one box of Uncle Ben's long grain wild rice. So the first thing we're going to do is chop up our onion, and then we're going to dice our chicken breast into about one inch pieces. So I went ahead and set my Instant Pot on saute mode, spray the bottom with some nonstick cooking spray. Once it warms up, we're going to go ahead and add in our chicken. We're going to let the chicken cook for about five to seven minutes. Once your chicken is cooked all the way, we're actually going to remove the chicken from the Instant Pot, set it in a bowl, and set it aside. Now go ahead and add in your onion and allow that to cook for about five minutes. Once your onions are translucent, we are actually going to go ahead and add some salt our two cans of mushrooms drained. Just the seasoning pack from our rice mix, we actually add the rice in later. So right now we're just adding the seasoning and then we want two cups of chicken broth. Stir that up really good. If there's any brown bits at the bottom of the pan, make sure that you're kind of scraping those up too. And then go ahead and turn your Instant Pot off of saute mode. Next, we're going to add in the condensed cream of mushroom soup. We're adding back in the chicken. And at this stage in the game, we are not stirring. So we added the soup and the chicken without stirring. And then lastly, we're adding the rice right to the top. And the only thing that we want to do is just press the rice in and just make sure that the rice is in the liquid. We're going to pop our lid on, set it on high, for five minutes. So I have it naturally releasing for five minutes. It beeped two minutes ago, so we have about three more minutes. And then we'll go ahead and flip our little switch and release the rest of the pressure. Once all the pressure's released and your pin drops, go ahead and remove the lid. 
You're quickly going to stir everything together and then we're going to let it sit for about five minutes so that the rice can finish absorbing more of the liquid. So here is what tonight's dinner looks like. This looks really, really good. The rice definitely soaked up the majority of the liquid. The recipe makes eight servings. So let me plate up a serving and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is a dinner. So this is one eighth of the recipe. Now remember your points are going to vary based on your zero point foods. But for me, this is only three points and it's a great well-rounded dinner. We have some vegetable protein, carbohydrate. So here's tonight's dinner. me for another what I eat in a day on WW. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me today. Don't forget I will link everything I shared with you in today's video down in that description box along with nutrition coaching. Don't forget to take advantage of personalized macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. You'll also find links and discounts to my other favorite things and of course don't forget to come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed. And once again, just double check your notification bell to make sure yours is still turned on and that YouTube didn't turn it off. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.